Hey there guys, what's going on? So once again we've reached the end of another week, and in this case it's just about spelling the end of March and entering into April this time around. Hard to believe that we're at the end of another one, and the most busy so far for music at that, but here we are, and here's another review. Now today's artist is one who I covered here on my channel ages ago. It wasn't a full review at the time, but it was one of my earlier efforts, so it's nice to make a more enhanced and confidently streamlined return to an artist I enjoy a great deal. Plus, this is one that's been dangling out there. It's one of my most eagerly anticipated music releases that took ages to get here, so it's nice to have it here and in the flesh. That's right, it's the title above their states, everybody, and as I know I always say, this is Justin Towns Earl and his mouthful of a release entitled Nothing's Gonna Change the Way You Feel About Me Now. Equal parts retro, rockin', and ever the perfectly sentimental heart, there's there's a lot here to say about JTE. This is the Vinyl Corner, and this is Justin Towns Earl. It's a shame, babe, nothing that you could do. Things change, babe, such as my feelings for you. The 30-year-old Towns Earl certainly has some famed roots, indicating where he was destined to go with his life, though it hasn't been without its fair share of struggle. For starters, his father is the famed veteran musician Steve Earl, and he shares his middle name with the late Towns Van Zandt. Seems like a lot to live up to, right? Well, Earl has certainly lived on both sides of that famed coin to this point in his career. It may seem like an initial or far-fetched exaggeration, but Earl became involved with drugs at around the age of 12 and has battled with addiction ever since. He had early gigs playing in several Nashville area bands as well as his father's band The Dukes, but hard drugs continued to derail his initial efforts. However, However, despite a few relapses, incidents, and stints in rehab, his great wealth of talent has always managed to shine through. Earl has managed to put out four full-length albums now, as well as an EP since 2007, and he has received awards for Emerging New Artist in 2009, two nominations coinciding with his release Midnight at the Movies that same year, and a 2011 award for Song of the Year for Harlem River Blues. As that would indicate, Yuma, The Good Life, Midnight at the Movies, Harlem River Blues, and Now Nothing's Gonna Change the Way You Feel About Me Now are of high quality and indicate that no matter what, Justin is still emerging, released by release. Least. But above all else, Justin Towns Earl just seems like one of those dyed in the wool old school guys who stepped out of another era of music to deliver his blend of folk, country, blues, gospel, and soul to an audience of ears just waiting to drink it in. So, for all those who know already and those who have yet to find out, here is Justin Towns Earl and here's a review of Nothing's Gonna Change the Way You Feel About Me Now. Enjoy. Baby's got a bad idea, I can see it in her eyes. She wanna hide it, but she can't no matter how hard she tries. Baby's acting like a kid, Lord, she's playing games with me. So while there has been some initial uncertainty regarding how well this record holds up by comparison to 2010's Harlem River Blues and what came before it, I so far am wholeheartedly convinced by what JTE has done here. While maybe not quite as lengthy and as in-depth as his other efforts, Nothing's Gonna Change the Way You Feel About Me Now does a fine job of not only orchestrating his latest shift in sound, but also just how consistent he is as an artist. Now for those who don't know, this record was devoted to more of a blending of 60's Memphis soul, blues, and that familiar combination of elements that makes Towns Earl so unique in the first place. There are a few more horns this time. There's a little trace of something jazzy on the verge of vintage, but all in all, there's that warmth of familiarity that makes it work. At only a touch over 30 minutes, it may leave some listeners in the lurch, but I think it's more about understanding the theme of this one. Immediately, you could say it's too short or thrown together, but I look at it like this. Considering the vintage tone of a lot of these songs and the shorter length of the song's structures, I see it as one of those records that could have dropped in the 60s or 70s that even if it wasn't highly successful at the time, would have been one of those under-the-radar releases that carries on decades later. No early guarantees on JTE going forward, but I I think it's a valid point. Used to be I was the object of affection in your eyes alone. But now it seems your heart has found a new direction and you're leaving me out in the cold. So if you're gonna break my heart, go on and break it. No, I don't. But anyway, to get back to the album, there are a variety of factors that really do carry it. First off, the production. For this, they elected to use a very natural orchestration of sound without any overdubs, and the effect really pays off. It's all very real, and being able to hear instruments like the upright bass really pop out of the arrangement is a nice effect in my opinion. Add that to the fact that Earl has never sounded more vocally strong here with a bit of an extra added gravelly rasp for good measure, and you have a strong set of songs that is definitely not hard to enjoy. Plus, as per usual, Justin's songwriting is his ever-present effective mix of bluesy lament and solemn heartbreak. Songs like Unfortunately Anna and It Won't Be the Last time head straight to the heart with introspectively vulnerable vocals and what feels like a brutally honest look at the self-destruction he struggled to overcome in his life. It's the moments like these that Earl is always quietly dominated with his presence and the weight of his experiences, and they're so solemnly perfect you feel as though he's right there in the room unloading just a bit of that burden for you and you alone. 
I'm not gonna say I don't deserve like all those other times. I'm not gonna claim to know what happened when I don't even know how I got home that night. Maybe I said some things I should. My favorite songs from this, one of the aforementioned It Won't Be The Last Time, along with Unfortunately Anna, as well as the bouncy horn-laden Baby's Got A Bad Idea, the pensive slow dance of the title track, and the assertive bluesy groove of Memphis in the Rain. Sure, perhaps, when you add in the repeat playability value of these songs, as well as the three solid bonus tracks out there, you have something that'll keep you coming back time and time again. Justin Towns Earl really does find a way to consistently deliver yet again, when nothing's gonna change the way you feel about me now. It represents another shift in sound for him, and another one that he handles just as well as all the other paths he's ever taken. It may not end up being near the top when the best of lists roll around for 2012, but its mixture of groove and melancholy, strong songwriting, and sneering grit will only continue to establish JTE as one of the top talents with a foot in several genres. I easily give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now as for the vinyl itself, because for some reason I neglected to show it earlier, um, not really much to report here because, well, if you watched uh, one of my previous videos, I already kind of uh, did an unboxing for this, and you've kind of seen everything, but if you haven't, this is what this is for right here, so let's get to it. Here's the cover. I've uh, gradually grown to like this cover quite a bit more since uh, I've seen it. Uh, it looks kind of strange in small form, but you know, getting the bigger form, it looks much nicer. Um, here's the back. Got the old recording equipment and uh, what I assume to be JTE's uh, shoes there. And uh, inside, we the uh, 12 inch, of course, both sides. Pull that out. A uh, Pretty nice cut, all in all. Plays very, very well. No uh, skiffs or any real uh, trouble in that regard. So that is always good. That is exactly what you want. Um, here's the download card. Like I said, I showed all this in the uh, unboxing video I did about this. But then that both sides, Bloodshot Records, um, everything like that. And uh, well, that's kind of it. It's uh, not really much in the bells and whistles department, and uh, that's all. Nothing's gonna change the way you feel about me now on vinyl. Well, I woke up wondering where I sat, just like I always do. Well, I ate up a head, laid out like a lazy bitch on a Sunday afternoon. Alrighty guys, well that is it for yours truly here. I hope you enjoyed yet another installment of the Vinyl Corner. If you follow me regularly, I hope you'll check out the other Vinyl Corner installment that is coming out alongside this one. And uh, if you're not, I of course urge you to uh, subscribe and sign up and uh, see what reviews and other music things I've got planned and coming up for the rest of the year. Um, it's going to be really great stuff and I hope you really enjoyed this review. Um, like I said at the beginning, this was one that I was eagerly anticipating when the year began and uh, I knew that it was going to be coming out. Uh, I was very surprised by that fact, and I was very uh, happy about it, and I was glad to be able to uh, put together a review and bring it to you guys. And, uh, you know, as always, keep current on things and uh, keep you all in the loop. So until next time, guys, keep your music flowing, your vinyl spinning. I will see you all very, very soon. Then she asked me how my father's been, and we both pretend we don't know why. I got a friend upstate He's got a place where I can get away from it all